Hello, and welcome to Sean's Test Bench. This is episode three of Mail Time. So, I got the mail, let's open it up. Start with this here. This is uh, Mirror Kits Incorporated, San Diego, California. Don't know what I ordered, but it's in here. Seems to be a little plug for something. Not sure. If I ever get it out of here. Okay. This is an MSI fan, a 95 millimeter, I believe, for my graphics card. I have an R9 290, and uh, I was cleaning it with it running, and I got my knuckle in the fan in it one of the blades off so I got a new one so that's what that is I'll do a video on uh, replacing that fan for you so you guys get to see what it's what it is to tear down the graphics card take the fan shroud off and replace the fan and put it all back together I'll do a video on that for you okay we got bigger stuff here Nikon. This is a AC power pack I got from Nikon to power my new camera that I'm using right now off the wall instead of uh, the batteries, the battery pack that it has. So I needed that and I'm glad it came. I'll be, uh, next time I'm recording, I'll be uh, plugged into the wall instead of running on batteries sorry didn't say where this was from Los Angeles California 64 gigabyte Evo Samsung uh, micro US uh, micro SD card for the camera so I needed that I, I've been buying a lot of camera stuff lately uh, more than computer stuff because the camera seems to need more right now. I have a lot of computer parts I already purchased. Uh, just kind of just sitting. I don't even have builds for them. So I've been concentrating lately on upgrading the camera. And as you can see right here, sound. This is my new Zoom H1 handy recorder. I bought this. I save money by buying it in a bulk package from the manufacturer instead of getting the retail package that comes with all the pamphlets and the advertising and it just costs more to manufacture the retail packages so I just buy it in a bulk pack and save the money and primarily get the same thing just without all the extra paperwork and nice looking packages. So here we have the booklet. A double A energizer battery that comes with it. They said they was including a two gigabyte SD card or micro SD card with it, and I see it came with the uh, the adapter. And this is the Zoom Zoom H1. I looked at a lot of different microphones to use, and this is what I come up with. It's extremely popular on YouTube. Uh, it can be a USB microphone. It can be. Uh, auxiliary plug in an auxiliary mic it, it has two high quality microphones on it so the next video you see will be all the audio will be recorded with this instead of a uh, cameras and right now I'm trying to use a phone so looking forward to using this got to learn how to uh, the new camera I'm using right now I, I don't know how to work it yet that well uh, Indianapolis, Indiana, first class package. Okay. 
These are a factory refurbished. I save a little money. The refurbs, they come with the same warranty. Uh, no difference than a brand new one, same warranty. This is the Panay 240 gig SSD. Uh, I use it on one of the builds. Uh, when I see a really good deal, it's hard to pass them up. I just grab them and I'll put them, put them aside and use them some other time. Dayton, New Jersey. Okay. Oh, same packaging. This, uh, this is the remote control, LED remote controls that I use for, uh, the computer builds I do now. Uh, I used to just wire the lights in and they'd be on all the time if the computer's on the lights on. And I considered that someone might want to turn the lighting off at night time or something or if they're disturbing somebody and they just don't want a lot of the glow coming out of their computers. Uh, I wanted to put a switch in the front of the computer to turn and just control the lighting. Well, I realized it's cheaper to actually get this remote control and this module to control the lighting and it comes with a lot of different m modes and stuff you can set up speeds and strobe, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's actually cheaper to buy these than a switch for the front panel. And then I'd have to solder and make my own, you know, wires for a switch. So, alright. Sorry about that. Camera battery died. So now, you don't have to wait to, till next time. I actually hooked up the AC power to the camera now. So, that's better. We have a box here from Westchester, Westchester, Pennsylvania. We have a remanufactured Seagate Barracuda one terabyte. I don't always mind buying the remanufactured products. They come with the same warranty. And if they fail, I'll send it back. Uh, some people might want, you know, think that the brand new ones are more reliable, but I don't believe that's true. Okay, here's a Seagate Barracuda. One terabyte. Had a hard drive. Get some of these little ones out of the way here. Indianapolis, Indiana. Again. I have a processor here. Appears to be an AMD A6 3600. That would be a FM FM1, I believe. Socket FM1 APU. Yep. Got it for $20. So I'm not going to throw that. Okay, Sunrise, Florida. Actually, I used to live very close to there. That's in Broward County, Florida. Save with Super Parts. Super Parts. Okay, these are just on the go. USB or micro USB. They're on the go USB connectors for cell phones and tablets. Uh, couple people I know needed them so I just picked up a pack of three and give them to them. Big box here. Mana, Man, Manhattan, Tech, Kansas. Yep, what it says, Manhattan, Kansas. It's heavy. Feels like a power supply. And that's what it is. From oh no. Modular cables. So it must be a modular power supply. Don't know where they started taping this up and where they finished, so
computers here. I have a Corsair HX 520 watt modular power supply. I believe this is their professional series. I bought a, uh, I got a power supply on mail time. I don't know which one of them they were. Uh, it was a Cooler Master 500 watt. And I was going to put that in my test bench. But I ended up getting a Cooler Master case. So I want to kind of keep that power supply for that case. So I went and picked up another one. This will go in my test bench here. And it's modular. It comes with some cables. I don't, I don't think it came with the whole set of cables. But I have other cables from Corsair power supplies that I can use on it. They're all the same. I have a SATA cable. And a 4-pin floppy cable. The 24-pin uh, here. And the 4-pin. And an 8-pin. I'll have to look at the manual on that. Uh, are built right in the power supply. Just the peripherals, peripherals, or however you say it, is added on. Okay, we have here Fall River, Maine. Don't know where that's at, but it sounds far. I guess Maine ain't that far from here. Got a graphics card here. Got some weight to it. Pretty long. We have here an MSI R6950. Uh, graphics card. I believe this is a 2 gig version. Yes, it is. 2 gigabytes and a 256 bandwidth on this. So it's, uh, should be pretty fast. It's, it's not, it's a, uh, it's an older model. But it should still play 1080p games. Maybe not the latest, latest, uh, hardest demanding games, but it'll definitely perform very well. So. I'm going to figure out what to stick this thing in. Maybe that Cooler Master case. So, I think that's a wrap on this stuff. Uh, looking forward to using the new Zoom. Yes, I am. And, uh, have another mail time next week, I guess. Uh, as I keep getting more packages in, I'll do another mail time. So, thank you for watching. And uh, please subscribe to Sean's Test Bench. If you like these videos, leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see something else on the videos. And uh, I'll keep making videos. Thank you.